This is Ömer Karagüzel. Today I would like to talk about uh, the ways in which you can update our global algorithm uh, to create customized R values for various construction assemblies. Uh, this question was asked by uh, Jordan and some of you guys from the studio and you were wondering, yeah, there are some specific default values in the algorithm uh, for the walls and the roof or, and, on, and the other assemblies, but is it possible to change this and create new materials specifically? And my response was, yes, it's possible, but it will take some extra pre-processing stages and some and some changes in the current state of the algorithm. And explaining this uh, to you, is the best way to explain all, all of this is shooting a demo session. So that's why I will talk about uh, all these things in today's demo. It will be really straightforward and quick as you see and you will be able to see how you can create your own uh, custom R values uh, in, within the global algorithm. So this is our algorithm as you see, this is the building envelope design section. Uh, so let's move on to that section. Uh, there may be a little bit of time lag because I'm at my home now and uh, getting a remote connection to my office PC at the school. So due to this internet connection speed, we may have some lag. So, so this was the building envelope design options. As you see, there are different selections for the roofs and for the external walls and for the glazing and the partitions and the floor. So let's have a look at the wall, the external walls. We have two options to set the baseline level. You can follow ASHRAE baseline climate zone 5A or IACC 2018 5A, which was a most recent application. But the choices were choices were limited to R13, R19.5, R28.5. Okay, these are uh, this can create a good starting point. But how about you have some other R value for the wall that you found through your research or through a precedent study or uh, maybe some best practices example, right? How you can update this algorithm to reflect all these customized R values. It's possible. Let me talk about it. The main cluster that we will be working with is the setting up material library cluster. As you see, you will find that I, I on purpose, I write the name, I wrote the name in big fonts. So when you uh, double click these components, or this cluster, um, we will be able to see uh, the components inside. Sorry, it just should be there. Okay, now this is the cluster. Uh, we are in the cluster. Okay. Sorry. Let's, uh, let's see what's happening in this cluster. I would like to zoom in to uh, typical wall section let's take this extra 5a baseline walls right so the thing is we can take this entire wall assembly and duplicate it on the side and start playing with the insulation thermal insulation thickness uh, and increasing this thickness will increase the r value and we will be able to reach out to the r value that we are looking for so the first thing i will do is just select the entire group and just basically copy and paste, right? I'm using keyboard entries, control C and control V. And I will take this uh, duplicated component to the left hand side, right? So now we have a duplicate. Of course, we will customize this duplicated value. The first thing I will go to the name of this uh, group and I would like to change it to uh, maybe external uh, external walls say let's try r40 right r40 was not in the list in the current list of the global algorithm let's say external walls r40 right so how to do it the quickest way is to keep all the component all the material layers the same but just focus on the insulation material layer now i am zooming into the insulation material layer i have board insulation glass fiber and certain thermophysical properties like conductivity or density specific heat capacity okay i'm not going to play with those because these are fundamental properties but but to to be able to to be able to create a material the insulation material with the r40 uh, thermal resistance level i will i will play with the thickness of this material 
Okay, so uh, it's it looks it's so like the dead. I'm going to increase this thing, but to what level, right? And uh, to what level? So to be able to help you guys out, I created a small uh, tool or calculator in Excel file. Uh, let me show you this. Um, uh, just a second. Okay, so this Excel file is uh, called Thermal Insulation Thickness Calculator. Okay, what the tool is expecting an R value in IP units from you. So define your required R value in IP units. Say, I'm asking for R40. So this immediately converts it to uh, R value in the SI unit metric system because all the all the axiom and all this global algorithm works on uh, SI units in terms of inputs. Okay, outputs I did some calculations to convert from SI to IP, but as inputs we need to work with SI units. Okay, so this is the R value you are expecting in the IP units. This is the R value in the SI units. I calculated the thermal conductance, basically taking the reciprocal of the R value. Now, the thermal conductivity. The thermal conductivity is the thermal insulation property. Okay, this may be different for different insulation materials that you are adjusting. So, now arrive at this point, you should go back to your algorithm, to so go back to your wall section, okay, and zoom in and have a have a look at your insulation thickness thermal conductivity. Right now it's 0.06 right 0.036 sorry so keep this number and let's go back to our calculator and i will update this insulation uh, conductivity value and then the outcome from this little excel tool is the required thickness okay this value it's about 25 centimeters or 0.25 meters I help you, I put some converters here, it's about 0.83 feet or about 10 inches of insulation thickness, okay? So, what to get? Now, this is already in the uh, algorithm because you're, uh, we are updating an existing insulation material, but the information you need is this value, required thickness, 0.254. So let's go back to our algorithm, okay, to reach R40, I will update this thickness, double click on the thickness and say 0 0.254. Okay, so let's say okay, update it. Okay, now this one, the same material, the same composition, but the thickness has been updated, the will, the U value has been changed. Of course, I would like you to change the construction name, say maybe R40 X walls. Please keep this name in mind because we will need it. I would like to update this right click at this point and say uh, R40 external walls, okay, and then also update this cluster output name R40 walls, and I would like to update the nickname R40 walls, okay everything has been updated right at this point you need to do a, a one more uh, action to complete this process since we created this r40 wall go to materials and find the library and call into the canvas okay just a little bit zoom in and take uh, take this and connect it to the library's add button which means that this newly created construction assembly now is added to the Arxim library. You have to do this for all, all sorts of materials that you have been uh, creating. Okay, so when this has been uh, completed, you will say, please pay attention to this, click on this box button and save and close. Okay, if you say, if you exit without saving, you will lose all the work that you have been working. So. Uh, let's see, let's go back to our uh, algorithm. This is our file. I will upload the new version of the algorithm and the small Excel tool to the canvas. So, okay, now I have it in the library, but I don't see it anywhere else to select. So the best way to do is go to this building envelope design. Okay, there are options, remember, external wall. Just double click on this 
and here is the list okay now you will create another option to create another option you will give an arbitrary name volar 40 okay and then um, I will follow the same syntax is equal to uh, r40 exts walls pay attention to the fact that this name r40 x walls should be exactly matching to the name that we already provided to this construction material okay see i added a new a new option you can do more and more okay you can increase your option list and you can extend expand your library okay right now that's all we have we say okay and look at it next time when i click on it r40 is here right so i can select r40 as a wall r40 and then go to my uh and to find out my run button here's the run energy plus model button okay just click run and wait for it if you can see this black box like a dos screen has been simulation has been updated the results has changed and the walls r40 is in place okay so the things that you need to pay attention is that you have to update this options list and you will be using this uh, calculator tool i will upload this to the canvas this is the required input the highlighted red, uh, yellow highlighted and the orange highlighted is the thermal conductivity again maybe if you are in future you are working with a different thermal conductivity you can update it right it should be customized or maybe in future you are using no i don't i'm not trying r40 i'm tr trying r 15 very specific value or r38 very specific value. it's okay you click on it and the, the information you extract from this tool is the required thickness okay each time a new thickness has been calculated and you need to you need to keep it and manually transfer this information to the construction material you are developing okay so the setting up material library this is a, is a huge cluster you double click you went into this cluster and then uh, you may have a chance to look at uh, the components Let's see okay it's right here sorry things are not smooth because i'm using my remote desktop so and then the key point here is that you take an existing material construction assembly with all the materials you duplicate it you give it a new name you don't change things around too much but you have to pay attention to the conductivity of the thermal insulation layer and update the thickness and then uh, give all the names uh, to this wall construction name here and here and the cluster name if you want to get it out of the cluster and please don't forget to forward it to the library component so that this new construction assembly will be in the list okay and please don't forget to save and close of this cluster because if you exit again i'm repeating but it's very important if you exit without saving this will be a little bit of a problem in terms of losing all your work okay so uh, this is all i have today i hope it will be helpful for you guys to update the global algorithm uh, but again remember you can do it for walls you can do it for roof you can do it for uh, for the floor assembly slab on grade assemblies or even for the glazing for the glazing materials you don't need these calculations but you need to find out the u factor of the new window assembly solar heat gain coefficient of the window assembly and visible transmittance of the window assembly if you find out these three pieces of information you are good to go to create a new glazing assembly there is no there are no conversions or calculations needed but some uh, search needed research needed to find out what these could these values be for the glazing but for the opaque assembly this calculator will be really helpful for you guys to finish your job okay thank you guys see you next time